Winter is one of our busiest times here at Bridge North MPD. Amongst all the general running maintenance we have to carry out, we've got six ICOs that have got to complete their annual insurance exams. And part of that is the boiler examinations, a full mechanical examination, carrying out anywhere between 10 to 20 to 30 general running faults. So today we'll take you through some of the work that's required to get these ICOs ready for such examinations. The work my team are carrying out at this time of year is absolutely vital to keep the engines in tip-top shape to provide a service for the Seven Valley Railway. Our engines can clock up anything up to 9,000 miles in a normal year and although we haven't managed that in 2020 with the pandemic, our Santa season and our steamer lights were still very successful so the engines have accumulated quite a few days steamings. With that comes a lot of repairs. We have nine engines to examine and carry out general maintenance on, including the fact that we're not going to run till probably April this year, but we really will be flat out until then. We'll be using 1501 as our guinea pig today to demonstrate the work we're undertaking at the moment. And ah, as a fine display of physical fitness required for the job, is Gary. How are you doing? You're right. Yeah, yeah. Where are we at? What are we doing? Right, well, the engine's ready for a washout now. So obviously part of that will be removing the mud old doors and the washout plugs. That will give us a check of the water spaces, make sure there's no scale builds up and stuff like that. Um, we need to do an examination of the firebox, which will involve checking the brick arch, checking the stay, so we'll do a hammer test just to check that. And involve a squeeze? It's going to definitely involve a squeeze. Christmas hasn't been kind to me. And as you can see, I didn't lose my lockdown weight, as I promised. <laughs> it's all right, so we'll crack on with that, and I'll hand over to you, and you can explain all that in a bit more detail. Yeah, cheers, thank you. Right, so first of all today, we're going to be um, examining the smoke box. Part of that is our annual examination. So I'm just going to get the door open. Nice to see it's still freshly painted. Thanks, Steve. So obviously one of the things we check when we open the smoke box door is we check the seal on the door. Obviously this has all been replaced recently. So again, it's important that we check that that's actually still sealed. We've also got a central bar here. That holds the door handle in place. As you can see, we've got the spark arrestor here, which is in good condition. It's very important to check that that is in good condition because what happens, we get hot char and ash coming down the tubes. What happens, hits the back of the spark arrestor, creates very small bits of dust, and that prevents line side fires, which is quite important in these days. So that's something we need to look at. Um, the next job then will be removing that, ready to clean the tubes, which again is part of our annual examination. Right, here we are. We're now at the, uh, the bench. We've had some of the parts removed from the locomotive. For instance, we've got something called a mud hold door. It doesn't look like a door, but it is. And what that does, it seals around the water space. The gasket that we make here on site, and that's a mixture of lead and white metal. We've also got here an old gasket. Now that's only been in the water space for 30 steam ins. So every 30 steam ins, we remove these, we, re, we mount them down and reuse them, which again helps on cost. Um, we also have here washout plugs. As you could just about see there, we have numbers on them. These numbers correspond where they actually go in the boiler. That's why we have a chart here, which would be difficult to see. On the chart, that tells you where the plugs go. When we're doing the examination, we also check for damage to plugs. For instance here, we've got a plug here which is badly twisted. So as a matter of, of precaution, we would replace that. So again, that gets scrapped. We make new ones, which we also sell here. Um, since the early 2000s, we actually don't have much of a scale build up now. So when I say the, the word mud hold doors, um, you actually get scale and mud build up inside the water spaces. For instance, here, there's a piece of old scale, which is what we used to have before we went on to reverse osmosis treatment. Reverse osmosis treatment, which we also sell here, it's a mixture of tannin and soda ash, which helps break down the, the, the scale and that inside the, the boiler, um, which again is quite important. So um, the boiler inspector will arrive and he'll do something called a cold exam. The reason we call it a cold exam is because the engine is cold. The engine is stripped down for him to examine all the waterways, the plugs, the doors and everything. And then he'll return about two weeks later to do a hot exam, which is where all this will be put back on the engine 
steamed up for him to see the safety valves lifting. So that's kind of, that's pretty much what we do, you know, for a, a boiler exam. Right, well, you've caught me now in my natural habitat, the firebox. Uh, normally, on a normal day, this would be uh, about a thousand degrees uh, with a nice warm fire in here, so not normally a place I'd sit. Um, however, today, I've just about managed to squeeze through the fire hole door, even with my lockdown weight not gone anywhere. Um, but now today, basically, we're going to be looking at doing an examination of the firebox as part of the annual exam. So part of that, basically, we'll be looking at the brick arch. So we'll be checking the condition of the brick arch. We're checking all the stays, checking the condition of the tubes, if they're blocked. Uh, we'll be checking about the, the grate itself. This loco actually has two different types of grate. It has a rocking grate at the front, which means it moves backwards and forwards. And then at the back, it's got a fixed grate, which, as it, as it says, it's fixed in place. So we'll be checking the condition of the, the grate and everything. Um, and yeah, just a general check around for any kind of warping or anything like that that might uh, come back to bite us. So obviously, as you can see, the condition of the brick arch, we would actually deem this as fair um, rather than excellent, which means it's got quite a lot of um, smeg and detritus stuck to it, um, which isn't a problem. That's basically just the, the old the bits of coal and that that have stuck to it. Um, but that's actually in quite good condition. As you can see, it's nice and solid still, which is important. Um, we'd be then checking the grate. Uh, I've actually had a look around the grate. There's some different types of uh, fingers. So for instance here, we've got a, a, a single rocking grate finger, and that's a brand new one. And that's going to replace this one here, which, are back, which is now bent and started to burn away. So obviously it's important that we change these regularly, because what will happen is if we don't change them regularly, it will warp the whole grate and damage the ash pan, which obviously was something we want to avoid. Um, so that's something else we check. Right, so the next job I've got to do is uh, the hammer testing. Um, as you'll see with the chalk lines around the, the firebox, we've sectioned it into positions. So we know basically when we do a hammer test, we know which line of stays we're tapping at a time rather than trying to do the whole firebox in one hit. If you do it in sections, if there is a broken stay, it's easier to identify and report. So uh, yeah, I'll start tapping a few stays and see how they sound. Yeah, yeah, as I can tell from that lovely ring, they all sound really good to me. So yeah, that's, that's a good start. Oh, I definitely need to cut down on the old Sunday dinners. Right, with the firebox checks now complete, it's now time to check some of the parts in the cab. For instance, the gauge frame has been stripped down. Normally there's a glass here which shows you the water level in the boiler. That's all been stripped down, ready to be examined. I've also got here two tricocks. As you've probably noticed on this engine, it's only got one gauge frame rather than two. So with this type of design, it had something called tricox. That's another way of showing you how much water you've got in the boiler if obviously the glass was to break. Um, the gauges have been removed to be calibrated with the new certificate dates on. Um, we've got one here for the uh, full working pressure, which here is 200 PSI. We've also got the steam heat one, which runs at about 40 PSI. And we've got um, the uh, brake gauge here, which has been calibrated. Not only do we do that, we also do a full check over of all the gauges, valves, everything else on the loco. So obviously all the steam valves and that will be checked in steam. Um, yeah, it's just a general check over. As I said earlier, it's a, a cold exam. So we prepare everything for a cold exam. Right, well, we're now on top of the locomotive. As part of the annual examination, we strip the safety valves down. And part of that is that we remove the valve out itself, which is one of those. The face there is machined and then it is lapped into position with the body. We use a fine or coarse lapping paste. And basically the term lapping is rubbing two faces together with paste to obviously get a seal. After that's been done, normally takes a couple of hours to lap it in properly. We then blew the face, make sure we got a good seal. And as you've just seen, that's already been done. As you can see there, we've got a nice blue seal around it, which is what we're looking for. Right then, all the jobs are done inside the shed. Better drag the old girl out and wash her boiler out. It's a very dirty job, and obviously we need to do that outside. So we'll get the shunter started and we'll crack on and get that done.
Right, so the engine's now been shunted outside. The first job we'll be doing is washing the boiler out. Basically means that we wash all the mud and scale out of the boiler. The next job after that is then to put a flare in just to check all the water spaces. Again, what we're doing there is we're checking for any kind of broken stays, any kind of scale build-up, bulges, stuff like that. Generally with our locos now with the water treatment, we tend to just find a little bit of scale which normally washes out with the hose. After that, that's pretty much the wash outside complete. We then shunt the engine back inside the shed, ready for the boiler inspector. So there you have it. Thanks to Gary and Steve, 1501 is now ready for its visit from the insurance examiner. We're repeating the exact same procedure with our other locos to get everything ready for our April opening. I hope you've enjoyed this look behind the scenes and please join us next time at British North Motor Power Department. That's all right now.